Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today I'm up in the studio. I went out this morning, uh, warmed up the factory, and uh, got all the stuff for Beth. She had, uh, I think, eight orders. And then I set out to make yet another batch of Elites. So if you want an Elite, I just put ten more in the store. Uh, so I spent all afternoon uh, building Elites. It's uh, one o'clock right now. I started at seven this morning. So anyway, uh, once I finished that, then I decided to come in the house and enjoy myself. And I spent two hours last night, maybe three, and a couple hours today uh, building this third generation Jewel Thief light. Now, uh, this one's really good. It has two cells in it. So it's really going to last a long time. The Jewel Thief circuit will take up to 3 volts, and I've taken advantage of that. I eventually will put a solar cell on when I get it, but I haven't gotten the solar cells yet. But anyway, I got some toroids in the uh, mail yesterday. Uh, they're 6.3 millimeter, and I experimented winding them, and I was successful in winding a few of those. So then I miniaturized the whole circuit and put it into the little corner off to the side of the switch of this little uh, battery box or, or uh, yeah battery box and uh, I only had about quarter inch by three sixteenths maybe a little bit more it was it was tight but I got it all in there and it all works I powered it up with a half a volt and it lit so I know the jewel thief is working and then I put two regular energizer batteries in this very bright right now so uh, Let's look at all the pictures I took of it, of uh, the whole process of miniaturizing it, and, and the whole thing installed. And then I'll talk about what I used to do it. Okay, for you jewel thief nuts, <laughs> uh, my 6.3 millimeter uh, ferrite toroid was wrapped with uh, 30 gauge wire, uh, 13 double wraps. Uh, I was going to use a 2N222A uh, transistor, but uh, because the case is metal and I had trouble with the leads touching the case and shorting it out, I opted for something that was much easier to work with and for this low uh, milliamp draw package it works fine. I used a 2N3904 old standard transmitter, NPN transistor. Uh, I used a 1K uh, quarter watt ceramic resistor uh, and the coil that I talked about, the uh, 6.3 millimeter coil with 13 wraps of 30 wire on it and a extra bright uh, water clear uh, run-of-the-mill LED that I got from uh, uh, Tida, T-Y-D-A, in Thailand.
good place to buy from. Uh, anyway, put the whole package together, tested it with a half a volt LED lit right up so I knew my uh, Jewel Thief was working correctly. And then I put two batteries in it in uh, series, so I have uh, around three volts feeding it. So it's got to go down a long ways before before I don't get good light. Okay, uh, is there anything else I want to say on this one? I ordered uh, parts from Radio Shack, which uh, is a United States company, and I uh, ordered this a bunch of stuff from Taida, which is in I believe in Thailand, and I got the stuff from Taida in five days. And I'm still waiting for the stuff from Radio Shack, uh, so it's been uh, about this is like the sixth or the seventh day. So, uh, Radio Shack, come on. Also, the uh, products that I ordered from Radio Shack were about, uh, well, just for an example, it was pretty much straight across the board. Uh, the extra bright LEDs were $1.89 from Radio Shack, and they were, uh, I think, three or five cents from Tida. So, I think you can see where that's going. Just a fraction of the price, and you get them faster and they're high quality. So, what's not to like? <laughs> so, uh, that's my uh, video on the Jewel Thief. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have a really great day, and try to take some time off to have just a little bit of fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.